Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv, where audio recording is an art form. Well, today I'm going to be continuing what I started last week. I started a discussion with you all last week about uh, using guitar effects pedals in the DAW environment. So instead of using plugins, uh, you can actually rig up a system, and I showed you how to do it, of how to use effects uh, pedals that you may already have, and use them for vocal tracks, drums, at reverbs, things like that. Uh, many of you said, hey, I really want to hear some of this stuff. So um, I have a Dynacomp. I'm going to be showing uh, basically two different examples of, of how this thing sounds on, on drums. I think this is really, really cool. Um, I've never really heard a compressor quite pulsate like this one does. Uh, it has a really cool kind of breathing sound to it. Um, particularly on just a clean drum overhead, but I'm also going to be showing you um, this on the Tom Rezzo lo-fi technique. Um, that was covered about a month ago, so uh, if you haven't checked that out, feel free to check out how I made that track. It's really pretty easy. It's a perfect use for that extra middle tom. Uh, but for today, I'll be showing you um, just a few examples through this. Uh, I think it's really cool. Once again, this is just a Dynacomp, pretty common compression pedal. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, I thought that was super cool. Um, I really dig this sound a lot. Um, this is something that I haven't used yet, but I'm just kind of putting in the back of my mind of something cool to try. Um, I'd still love to hear your favorite uh, pedals for you know different uses. So uh, if you want, state below um, your favorite pedal and what you use it for in the DAW environment. I'd love to hear what you like for vocal or distorted drum crunch or bass or whatever it may be. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. I'll see you.